everyone. Welcome back to Autel Channel. Today, we are going to talk about the IA800 and one function of the IA800, Wheel Alignment Pre-Check. Before we start, Michael, can you explain what's so special about the IA800? Sure. The IA800 is the intelligent ATIS optical positioning system we just released. Through the combined use of six high-resolution cameras and ATIS positioning software, it has taken precision and accuracy of calibration to a whole new level by delivering rapid yet precise frame centering and vehicle distancing. Most importantly, it makes calibrations faster, more accurate, and repeatable. It does sound cool, Michael. The cameras and positioning software you just mentioned, are they what makes the IA800 so advanced? Exactly. Due to the combination of cameras and positioning software, IA800 has perfectly and successfully combined wheel alignment pre-check and ATIS Calibrate together. It's one of the world's leading equipment that has achieved this, which makes it one of the most advanced ATIS systems worldwide. It seems that we don't have many products which have integrated both functions in the market, right? I can't wait to unveil this new technology now. Certainly. Before we go any further, I'd like to introduce our camera system first. I remember you said it plays a crucial role in the IA800. Can you tell me why the IA800 is designed with six cameras all in different positions? I'm guessing they all serve different purposes. Exactly. The six high resolution cameras are designed to provide three dimensional optical recognition for most accurate frame management. All of them capture targets precisely and populate the screen for positioning. The four cameras on the right and left are used to set the frame quickly in place and detect parameters of the four wheels. Usually, we use them for a feature called wheel alignment pre-check, which we'll go into deeper later. How about the other two cameras? For example, the one on the right or the one in the center at the crossbar? The one on the right end is used to check if the crossbar is distorted at all. The camera in the center is used to measure the distance from the vehicle to the frame. Usually, we use it with the upper two cameras on the right and left during ATIS Calibrate. Another feature we'll discuss soon. Basically, cameras are what makes IA800 intelligent. Cool. Well, I'm really excited to see how the camera system is gonna work. What's next? So next, we need to establish communication between the vehicle and the camera system via the tablet. So we've come to the main menu page where we have the two functions we mentioned before, wheel alignment pre-check and ATIS Calibrate. We'll start with the wheel alignment pre-check. And when would I want to use this function? Great question. We'll perform wheel alignment pre-check in scenarios such as when we suspect that the four-wheel alignment parameters are abnormal, uh, when the vehicle deviates, uh, when the vehicle steering wheel is not correct, when the steering wheel starts to shake, abnormal tire wear, or in case you have replaced parts that affect positioning parameters, such as a steering tie rod. Also, we need to perform the alignment pre-check before ATIS calibration. Okay, okay. So basically, we use this function when we find or suspect that there's something wrong with the wheels or the angles. And by performing this function, we can get parameters of the angles of the wheels uh, to see if they have any issues. Yes, you can see it as a preparatory work for ATIS Calibrate as it adjusts angles. Now let me show you how to do it. So let's tap OK and we'll come to the required tool page. Ah, so these are all the tools that we're going to need, right? Exactly. So we have four wheel clamps and targets, a frame, a steering wheel holder stand tool, a 24 volt power adapter, and two wheel chunks. So now we're gonna tap the next page, and here is the vehicle preparation page. From this list, we need to do two things. Really, and what are they? Well, let me show you. Let's go. So these wheel chocks we need to place in the front and rear of either the left or right wheels. And this prevents the car from sliding. 
And what about this device you gave me? Ah, uh, yes. This is the steering wheel holder stand tool. So this essentially ensures that our steering wheel stays centered. So right here, we'll first center the, the steering wheel, which it is already. And we will set this up. Now, we also need to make sure that we are in neutral. So let me change park to neutral. There we go. We're all set. So both of these two steps are to keep the car from sliding back or forth? Exactly. So after we ensure the preparations are okay, we're going to tap next page. And here we have the auxiliary tool positioning page. On the left is a diagram. On the right, we have text that goes into more detail about which each part is. And it also gives us steps about how to achieve our, our goals. Now, if you tap on this diagram, you're able to actually zoom in right here and see all the details. Well, that's pretty convenient. But what do we do here? All right, let me show you. So first two things, if you look over here, you see these two right marks, right? I see them. Now they're not quite aligned properly, so let's use this fine tuning knob to align them. That looks good to me. Great. Next step, we need to loosen this handle, hop over to the other side, and once again, we need to align the red marks. So using this knob, we have aligned this red mark with that red dash. Let's tighten this knob here and then lock the handle in place. So these two steps are to help prepare the initial state for the frame, right? Exactly. So let's tap on the next page and we have two additional things that we have to do as well. Now these two things. First, you see right here, we have this crossbar. We have to make sure that this crossbar is in the middle of the front two wheels of our car. Secondly, we turn on our, our laser from the slide panel and make sure that that laser is aligned in the center of the car to ensure that the car is centered with the frame. It looks like it is. So that's to confirm that the cameras capture the targets easily, right? Yes. So now let's tap on the next page and we need to attach our four clamps and targets to the vehicle. So here's wheel clamp one. Now right here, you can see that there's this diagram that shows you which tire, which wheel the wheel clamp corresponds to. So this one says the front left tire. So we will take this over here and we need to position the bottom part first. And we also have a knob on the top, which allows us to adjust this properly to account for different rim sizes. Put that in here, Come up right here. So once you put the bottom part in, you stabilize it with, with one of your hands and then use the knob to secure the top part. Well, that seems pretty easy. Is it all right if uh, I try one myself? Knock yourself out. All right, so judging from what you said, I checked to make sure that this is the left rear tire. Yes. Go down and I place it starting at the bottom first and then adjust the knob until it is tight. How's that look? Oh, you're a natural. Shall we do the other side? Sure thing. All right, I'll get this one and I'll take the one in the front. Okay. So once again, we'll do the bottom first. All right, bottom part is in. All right, stabilized. There we go. And top. Here's looking, ah, oh, looks great. Looks great. So let's click on next page. So what is this loading right now for us? Good question. So can you go check out the cameras right there? And do you see that they're blinking? 
they are definitely flashy. All right, so that means that they are capturing the targets and relaying this information over to the tablet. Yeah, I definitely get how this is an intelligent camera system. Great, now we are at the wheel rolling compensation page. Do you see the arrows and the instructions? Okay, I see them. They're pretty easy to follow. Yeah, so it means we need to push the vehicle accordingly. If you have any difficulty in the alignment, you can check the view camera right here. And right here we can see that the targets are indeed populating the screen. We have four of them right there. So now we will perform the step and in order to do so, we'll have to go back to the car. And you see the instructions, it says to move the wedge behind the wheel for about 30 centimeters, like so. And if you remember, our car is in neutral, so it should be pretty easy to, to roll backwards and forwards. The arrow is pointing down, so that means that I have to move the car backwards. So I'm gonna grab this tire, roll it slowly until it tells me to stop. There we go. So once it says stop, I'm gonna hold the car in place for about two seconds. I saw it change to green. That means it's going to the right position, right? Exactly. So now we need to push the car forward until it tells us to stop again. There we go. So now we have our measurement results. We're gonna take this wheel chalk, put it back in place so that the car doesn't slide. So you had to stop two times to make sure the camera's got all the right data. Is that correct? Exactly, exactly. There are a lot of numbers still in orange. What does that mean? Well, let's go to the list mode. And here we can see our measurement results. So right here we have the standard value, maximum value, minimum values. And you can see that there are some values in red from the measured values. So with the red values, that means that they're still a little bit off and not within the standard range. So we can adjust the angles accordingly. I think I understand. We just adjust the angles of the wheels based on the values here to reach the ideal data. Yep. So that's all for the wheel alignment pre-check. That's quite fast, actually. I, I think we can summarize the whole process in just three steps. So have you got how to perform the wheel alignment pre-check? Comment down below to let us know. If you have any questions about the IA800 or ATIS calibrations, please contact our Autel support team. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.